welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV at Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. For those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver, so very convenient location. We've been bringing you a lot of videos um, of trailers that we have here on our lot. Unfortunately, with the increased demand, a lot of them that we've been showing you are already sold. But the benefit of showing you a sold unit like this one here is that these people actually put their name on this trailer before it even arrived. So we went through videos and pictures and drawings in order to get them a trailer that they're gonna love and use for a very, very long time to come. This is a 2022 Logan Coach stock combo. We actually took one of our 24 foot stock combos that we already had on order and we made a bunch of modifications to it um, to suit their needs. So the nice thing about TransWest is we have a lot of trailers that are already on order and as long as um, the, the models match up and we have enough time to make those changes, you can usually take one of our inventory slots and make it into something that you really are gonna enjoy. So for those of you that aren't familiar, these Logan Coach stock combos are a galvanized steel frame trailer with aluminum sheeting. The galvanized steel gives this tra trailer a lot of structural strength. It's not like black steel, so it's, you're not gonna have to worry about the rust issues. Um, they, it's actually quite a bit stronger than black steel. They've even coated it in what they call their vortex lining. For those of you that have had, had truck beds, it's very similar to that truck bed liner. And why do we put the truck bed liner on? To protect the actual truck. It's gonna make it look nicer for a long time. Um, it's gonna take a bit of abuse for all that road blast and gravel and age. It's gonna look a lot better for a long time to come. So we use the aluminum, lightens it up a little. Um, galvanized steel is heavier than aluminum, but it does have its, its benefits in strength and durability. We've got this nice stainless steel nose sheet here. Stainless steel is going to take a lot more abuse than just an aluminum sheeted nose sheet here. So we always do that on these Logans. If you just want a, a regular sheet, you can do one of those there as well. We've got our Bulldog coupler here. I really like these, these couplers. You've got the uh, the pin with the set screw here. So you've got the ability to manipulate this up and down. The customers that are buying this trailer, they've actually got a fifth wheel set up in their truck. So the nice thing about these couplers is we actually ordered them um, uh, one with a kingpin setup so they can take this one out and they can use it without having to switch back and forth um, from a ball to their fifth wheel. They're gonna keep this in case they ever wanna run around with just a regular truck, but it's so nice having the flexibility to take this out and set it up how you want it. Under here, one of the things I love about Logan's is they always put a nice LED light under here. The light switches are black, so they are hard to find, but they're usually located right over here. They kind of blend in. If you're hooking up at night, this gives you a nice light, bright, bright light. Um, you've got this black vortex coating here, so you want to be able to see what you're doing. It's just an additional little aid for you if you're if you're using your truck to back up at night. Got your spare tire mounted back here. Logan does a really good job at writing their DOT codes. If it's on this side and you can't see it, they'll usually throw the code on this side so you don't have to take this off to see how old your tires are. Here at TransWest, if something comes in on trade, if it's not matching, if there's not good wear and tear, and it's within five, if it's out of the five year um, from the date code, we replace our used tires. So this couple actually traded in one of their horse trailers, um, and that's something that we t accept all the time. We, we do trades here at TransWest in order to get this beautiful new trailer. Another thing they changed is this was originally supposed to be a white trailer. They went with the silver metallic uh, aluminum sheets here. I think it looks really good, especially on these stock combos. Uh, Logan has a wide range of color options, so you can do stone met, black, charcoal, white, um, silver. Silver and white tend to be our most popular colors. It seems like they have really great resale value, but it also 
kind of gives you that pop of color that you don't get with just a regular white sheet. For the setup of this trailer, I mentioned that they took one of the ones we had on order and modified it a little. So they actually did, they actually added a, about a foot to this, to this uh, stock area back here. We've got a five foot front tack with 25 feet of stock area. They really wanted a 24 foot, but the option to have this as more of like a stud stall slash dirty tack was really, really appealing to them. And in order to have this slam latch mechanism on this trailer, we actually needed to have 48 inches of clearance between uh, this partition wall and this first gate. So we added some length on this trailer. Really awesome that we can take something that we've got on order and modify it to people's needs. So the first thing you'll notice is you do have uh, this removable post here. They went with a four tier. If you need to change it around, maybe one of them, you're never gonna use this one. Uh, you can always take this out and put additional storage underneath. They are interchangeable and removable. All of these, these trailers are gonna come with this really nice little jack buddy here. Um, the really nice thing about a tandem axle trailer is if for any reason you blow a tire, um, have to adjust something, these little drive up jacks are so convenient to have. They're just a, a composite rubber. They've got a 10,000 pound capacity on them and it's just so much easier to be able to drive right up onto this and get that, that tire off of the ground. So we've got one of these in here. They did some modifications here as well. So on this boot box, usually um, if we do a boot box, they're gonna be the, a little bit smaller. But the nice thing about having a custom built trailer is you can, as long as the engineers sign off, you can really do whatever you want. So they wanted this tapered custom boot box here. Um, it's nice and deep and it's actually got two sides to it. So you've got this big side here, you can sit down, lots of additional storage, but because they did a screen door, they wanted the option to still have somewhere to put their grab and go items, like their brushes and their, their uh, fly spray and everything like that. So we asked Logan if they could build another compartment off of this that starts right here where it tapers so that they can access all of that stuff without having to lift all of this up. So another, another example of how, how they made this trailer uh, something that was really for them. Up here you do have a clothes rod. So if they wanted to hang some jackets or show shirts up there, um, they can. Right here they opted for a vent. Um, we can do power fans on these or power vents. They wanted just something very simple, something they didn't have to have any batteries for. So this is just one that they can, they can um, open up and, and close up and get a little more airflow through this trailer without having to worry about being connected to a truck or having an onboard battery. Up in the nose, you've got two windows here, a little more airflow, um, gives you just a nice cross breeze if you're throwing a mattress up here. I know they do a lot of trails, and so they wanted the ability to be able to throw something up here. Up, up in the nose, you've got that LED light. In this tack room, you've actually got two of these LED lights, and they are on independent switches. So you've got this, this switch right here, which will turn them both on and off, um, or you can manipulate them individually. So like if they're wanting to get some light before they're going to bed, they can turn these on and off to make them exactly how they want. This right here is something I wanted to show you. Another thing they added on this trailer is they wanted to do plexiglass in the air slats. So every Logan um, on these stock combos, it has the option to add these. They chose to do it at the factory. This is one that will go in that rear gate. So they did um, an air gap in that rear gate. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys what these look like when they're not in there. If you ever take your plexis out, we strongly recommend that you wrap them together with some painter's tape and label which air gap they go in. They're all custom cut to fit, so it's just a lot easier for you if you're not having to go and play a game of puzzle in order to figure out 
which plexi goes in which slat. So always keep some Sharpies and some painter's tape on you, and you can, you can put all those together and adjust it as you go. In here, you've got the nice uh, marine grade carpet. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to clean with some soap and water. Uh, if you needed to, you could take this whole carpet piece out and power wash it. So it's really easy to clean. Right here, you've got this nice square corner water tank. They're going to be going on a lot of long rides, a lot of trails. So they wanted to have onboard water. So we had a nice little space here where this one fits. It's securely um, put in here with this uh, aluminum strip here. And it's really easy. If they needed to take it off, they could just unbolt it here. Little hose for your water with 12 bridle hooks. So the bridle hooks come standard with this carpeting behind. Usually your animals are right on the other side of this trail or of this wall. So we want it to be quiet. Those headstalls are expensive. We want to protect them. So carpeting is standard behind all of these bridle hooks. Last but not least, this is a really big feature that she had on her LQ that she wanted to carry over into this stock combo. She wanted to be able to have a screen door. We did a lot of manipulating for this. We went through a lot of options to figure out exactly how we were going to set this up for this trailer. Um, we went probably four or five revisions, which is awesome because you can kind of get it laid out and see exactly how you want it. When you uh, order a trailer from Logan, you get a drawing just like this. Well, with your own drawing, you get all of these spec sheets. So on these spec sheets, you can see if they did any upgrades, how much you're paying for it. This is MSRP price. Um, so it's, it's really awesome to be able to pick and choose, kind of see what you're spending each item on. But we were do, able to do a bunch of revisions off of that base model that we started with. And one of the awesome add-ons that she did is this, this uh, screen door here. They can use it as more of a hangout, get away from the bugs, but still get a lot of airflow going in and out. I love on these stock combos, they have these extruded aluminum sides. So when you ste step up to the Stockman model, um, you get these extruded aluminum sides, which are a lot more heavy duty than just your corrugated side sheets. It looks really great. It'll take a lot more abuse than just that 050 aluminum sheets that we've got here. So as I mentioned before, they have this set up as more of a dirty tack. So we had to add that additional length here just so they could have this awesome little setup. So if they're going out and they've got more saddles per horse or if they want to take that first one out, um, they can use this, this first area as more of a dirty tack setup. You've got the four tier blanket bars here um, with your four tier saddle rack. Once again, very adjustable. Take it in, take it out. Um, take individual saddle holders out if you need to. If they need to use this as kind of a grumpy mare or a stud stall, maybe they want to not climb up on top um, for their hay, then they can take these all out and this becomes essentially a stud stall here. So I'm going to kind of walk this way back. As you'll see here, they decided to do two gates on this trailer so that they can divide it up exactly how they want. If they want to haul four or five horses, it's going to be no problem for them. They can separate them how they want. Um, another thing I want to demonstrate is how this slam latch works on this trailer. Mm -hmm. So the really great thing about this is if you're hauling cattle or maybe some, some horses you don't really trust, you can just slam it. You don't have to fumble with a latch or anything. You're nice and secure. So this is a huge safety benefit for those of you that are maybe hauling some cattle and you don't want to get in there with them. Um, you can easily slam it, get to a safe place, and then it's really easy to operate if you're coming from this side. 
So I love this feature. So many people fall in love with these slam latches on these Logans. They're just really heavy duty. They work really great and just gives you lots of flexibility with what you're hauling. Right here, you'll notice we don't have a standard rubber mat floor on this. Um, on these, these Logan stock combos, you'll almost always see us upgrade to the SureGrip um, with the uh, whiz-proof flooring. So this flooring, it actually drains right out through, through the floor. So if a horse urinates in here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to quickly drain out. You're not going to have any standing puddles. Um, if, if they poop in here, the air from underneath will actually help, help dry out the manure. So when you get to where you're going, you're not scooping out wet poop. It's really easy to clean. Just get yourself a hose or a power washer, and you can easily get this cleaned up nicely. One of the huge benefits of this SureGrip uh, whiz-proof flooring is that you don't have to use a lot of shavings or any shavings at all if you don't want. Uh, so your horses that have respiratory issues, they're not going to be breathing in that shaving dust. Especially on these stock combos, we can get a lot of airflow going through these trailers. So we want to make sure that we're not kicking up a lot of dust for those animals. They're going to be a lot healthier when they get to their destination. It's going to be a lot more comfortable for them. Another benefit of this floor is actually that when you have rubber mats, no matter how tight we fit them, they're always going to be a little bit, they're always going to have some motion, some movement. Eventually they'll probably curl. They suck to take in and out to clean. Um, so by having this, your horses are gonna, and cattle are going to be more secure about their foot, foot placement. It's going to get rid of some of that micro vibration that they experience as they travel down the road. So the horses are going to be ride a lot more comfortably in here. This is a huge benefit of owning one of these Logans. Instead of doing like a polylast where they actually have to drill holes into your floor, this is set up to drain. So it's aluminum slats coated in this vortex lining here, and it gives you a lot of protection. You don't have to worry about the, the aluminum pitting and corroding, but it also gets you the benefit of having a self-draining floor. Two gates here. We, we split the... Sorry, we split the difference between the stud stall and right here so that they have two nice compartments on this trailer. If they want to run with them open, they're really easy to latch back. Uh, it just gives them a lot of flexibility. They can haul toys in here, horses. These Logan stock combos come standard at 7.3 wide and 7.1 tall. If you need to add more length or width, absolutely we can do that. But this is perfect for them. Um, it'll get them exactly what they need. Another thing you'll notice is up top, they actually did a six foot hay rack with a platform. They wanted somewhere comfortable to stand up there while they're unloading and loading hay and equipment. So they've got the, the rail guard here, um, so it gives them some place to tie off, but also is a little more secure. The skate right here is also a slam. Once again, great safety feature. It's so easy to operate. That's latched, so you don't have to worry about your animals coming backwards out towards you. If you're hauling, it's just a lot safer for the humans and the animals both. Got a secondary latch here um, so that you're extra secure. Don't have to worry about if for some reason it didn't latch all the way, flying open, going down the road. You've got this secondary latch to secure it. If you need to, it's really easy to open. Um, you've got this thing that just pops it open, it pushes wide. I love how these, these Logan uh, stock combos operate. They're just so easy to use. Um, gives you a lot of flexibility in what you're hauling. Right here, you'll see another upgrade that they opted for. So the aluminum wheels are an upgrade at Logan. I think these ones in particular look really sharp. Um, they just wanted something that was going to look good for a very long time to come so they don't have to worry about uh, the steel wheels rusting and having to paint them further down the line. They are nitrogen filled, um, so in Colorado we get those massive temperature swings. It's really nice to be able to have something that's going to maintain a more stable PSI so you don't have tires getting too hot after they've started off cold in the morning. Once again, I mentioned they're great about telling us how old their tires are. Um, so they, they throw a little white marker there so that you can see 
uh, what age your tires are leaving the factory. Really easy to find. We've got tie rings all along each side, um, so you can easily tie on either side of this trailer. Up here, they have an LED awning light, so this eight inch light, throw off a lot of light at night. You've got one on each side of the trailer, so you can see exactly what you're doing. Um, make sure you're saddling the right horse at night. All right. Once again, beautiful silver aluminum sheets. That 050 aluminum, so it's a little more heavy duty, takes a little more abuse than just an 030. So we really like that upgrade on these Logans. Some other things that are popular upgrades on these trailers, they opted to spend their money elsewhere um, in some of the features that they found really important. So they didn't decide to do an electric over hydraulic jack, but that's an easy upgrade. Um, the least expensive time you'll ever do it is when the trailer is built. We can do battery boxes. Um, we can do dual hydraulics if you need. There's a ton of options. Like I said, we can change the color sheets. So give us a call if you want to take one of the trailers that we have on order, make some modifications to it, or if you want to start completely from scratch, this is a great trailer to base it off of. I think they did a lot of really cool things. Um, and it's just really awesome that they were able to make it their forever trailer so that hopefully they can use this for years and years to come and just get reap all the benefits of doing something that they really wanted. So for those of you that are interested in a trailer like this, can't have this one, it's already sold, but we can build one like this for you. Uh, you can reference this stock number. It is 5N. 201249. The great thing about these videos that we've been doing is people are able to do these virtual walkthroughs with us and so they can kind of see what we've done, some of the cool things that customers have come up with uh, so that when they go to order they're having something almost close to physical to actually see. So I'd love to build a trailer for you guys. We've got a lot of great stuff on order so if you just want to um, take a look at what we've got on inventory, you can always call me. My phone number is 970-309-6368. My name is Callie Say. I'd love to build a trailer for you. Thanks for tuning in.